Hello, my name is Miss Helen. Some of you might remember me from my time in the children's room back in the day. Um, and we're talking about folk tales and fairy tales. The Westerly Library has a great collection of both folk tales and fairy tales. Some are classified in the picture book section because they're short and have lots of pictures. And others are in the 398.2 section, which is longer folk and fairy tales. So the first one I wanted to talk about is Joseph had a little overcoat. And there's a Yiddish folk song that is um, in Yiddish, so I won't even attempt to sing it, <laughs> called Joseph Had a Little Overcoat. But in Joseph Had a Little Overcoat, there's Joseph who does indeed have a wonderful overcoat. But it's old and it's worn and it starts to fall apart. And so from it, he makes one another thing from it, in fact, a vest. And then the vest starts to get old and falling apart. Well, you see where it's gonna go. Eventually, he ends up with just enough to make a button, and then he loses the button. And you have to read the book to find out what happens after that. The nice thing about the book is that it has lovely, lovely little holes in the book to show you what's coming next. So here you have Joseph has a little overcoat, and when you turn the page, you see his overcoat through the hole. So this is great for really, really little kids who love to poke their fingers through the holes and also for older children. The second couple I wanted to talk about are two Italian tales. One is Strega Nona, and this comes from Calabria, so down in the south of Italy. And Andiamo Weasel, which is a tale that comes from Tuscany, so the north of Italy. So two different tales, but two great, great stories. Strega Nona in Italian means grandmother witch, but not the kind of witch you think of as Halloween with black hats and, and, and long noses and warts and kind of a thing. The Strega Nona in this tale is a kindly old woman who can make potions, who can do some spells, and just has a really magic touch. But she needs a lot of help. She's starting to get older and she doesn't have so much, doesn't isn't so strong anymore physically, so she needs help with her garden for her house. So she puts a sign in the town square, and the person who comes to apply for the job is called Big Anthony. Big Anthony has a good heart. He's very large, and he's a little clumsy, and he's not, as they say, the brightest bulb, but he tries really, really hard. However, he is, like many of us, a little bit lazy and always wants an easier way out if he can find it. Streganona has a magic pasta pot and it makes just the right amount of pasta for her or for her, the town every day. So Big Anthony sees this and thinks to himself, hmm, I bet I could do that and then everyone would love me because I can make as much pasta as I want. And so he starts to recite the poem that he's heard Streganona recite, however, he didn't realize that there's also a magic verse to stop the pasta pot. You may be seeing as you're re listening to me talk, thinking about the Sorcerer's Apprentice where the water and the buckets keep multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. And so the Italian twist on this is the pasta, which keeps coming out of the pot and out of the pot and out of the pot and out of the pot until the town is flooded with pasta. Eventually, Streganona comes along, stops the pot. Of course, Big Anthony has to have a little punishment. You have to read the book to find out what Big Anthony's punishment is. The next tale is called Andiamo Weasel, and this takes place in Tuscany. And in this book, there is a crow, a weasel, a fox, and a wolf. Well, the weasel comes along and offers to help the crow, who's very, very small, do all the planting of the corn. You can see similarities in this tale with the little red hen who will help me plant my corn, who will help me make the bread. But in this one, the weasel is the, is all, is the personification of all the, all the characters in the little red hen. He's, first his foot bothers him, and then he falls asleep, and then he gets late, and it goes on. And poor little people, a crow, has to find the way to do, sow all her own corn. Eventually, she comes up with a plan, and it involves the wolf. 
and the wolf turns out to be actually the hero in the story helping the wolf. In most of the stories, of course, the wolf is the big bad wolf, but in this story, the wolf turns out to be a really helpful wolf. Lots of Italian words in this one. Anyone who wants to um, brush up a little bit on their Italian can read this book and find lots of interesting things in it. The pictures are wonderful, and I should have mentioned that in all, all three of these books, the pictures are really terrific. In Joseph Had a Little Overcoat, there is so much detail in each one. There's little newspapers you can read parts of. There are signs on the wall. And in this one, you really can see the Tuscan countryside. You see all those tall trees, which are endemic to the northern part of Italy. And in Stregonona, the houses are all very close together and village-like as they are in Calabria. So those are three of the wood tales that we have here at Westerly Library. We hope you come in, check them out, check out lots, take out armfuls. <laughs>